Led by their spokesperson, dozens of aggrieved men's gold customers arrived early at the court's premises, filling up every available seat they could find. After an intervention by the police, many of them were thrown out and could be seen intently observing proceedings from the hallways of the courtroom. When the case was called, CEO of the defunct Men's Good Company Limited, Nanapia Mensa, notified the court that his lawyer had informed him that he had an emergency and prayed the court to grant him a short adjournment. Presiding Judge Justice Ernesto Usudapa warned against delaying the hearing and noted that counsel for the Men's Gold CEO could send other lawyers to come in his stead rather than hold the court to ransom. Prosecution, led by Director of Public Prosecution Yvonne Atakra Obobisa, told the courts that customers who had been billed to testify as witnesses were reluctant to cooperate as many were not responding to calls. This, she said, had led to the delay in the filing of the witness statements. Spokesperson of the aggrieved men's good customers, Fred Forson, urged members to assist the Attorney General's department. I only want your statement and just as what you wrote in the in the in the state the witness uh, the sheets. That's what you'll be asked questions on. So don't be afraid. Let's show up. You know we Ghanaians who we'll talk ah and now the opportunity comes for you to come and talk. You say you are afraid. Please what? what are you afraid of? Nothing. It's, afraid of. it's your own money. Do you understand? It's your own money. So those who have written the statement and at the 11th hour they want to chicken out, please, I am encouraging you. The last time I personally took some of you to the CID office and we guided you to write your statement nicely. It's what you have put on the paper. It's, it's, it's just a very short statement. The court has adjourned the hearing to November 17. Nanapia Mensa, also known as Namwan, has been charged with 39 counts ranging from violation of Act 930, defrauding by false pretense, fraudulent breach of trust, and money laundering, but has pleaded not guilty. Lord Idwasari, 2-3 News, Accra.